morning everyone on this blessed morning i'm trying to clear space in my garage and move kayaks to the backyard in order to do that i need to make kayak stand for my two kayaks i looked online and most kayak stands cost upwards of 300 dollars and are made of weak cheap wood so i figured that for 50 bucks i can do better alas i did it and yet failed at the same time you will see what i mean at the end so as the first step, I cut up a bunch of lumber into dimensions. My kayak stands were going to be four and a half feet high. Once my lumber was all cut and ready, the next step was to make the stand part itself. And for that, I chose a simple cross with a stand attached to it. Very, very simplistic design and very sturdy. First, I attached the big 2x4 at the bottom, making sure that it sticks out 3 feet forward and a bit less than a foot back. Following that, I attached the cross section piece, extending 2 feet to each side, and that's it! I secured the whole thing with some metal braces for extra strength and stability, I also use a bit of glue too, just to be sure, and I end up with a pretty impressive looking stand. I did end up making two of them, one for the left side, one for the right side. Also, my brand new Bosch impact wrench broke over here as you see. Thankfully, Bosch was nice enough to repair it for me, but I did hope that they would simply offer me a new one since this was pretty new. I do like the torque that the impact wrench provides, but the red sleeve used to attach bits to the wrench actually fell off since the mechanism there and the sleeve itself is very poorly made. So pretty much good motor but very crappy craftsmanship of the case and the sleeve. I lost 3 weeks waiting for repairs to be done. Now for the next step, I make the arms where the kayaks will hang. I did make the cuts at 12 degree angles, so the arm will dip a bit down and the elbow will go straight up. Each arm is 2.5 feet in length. I know, it is too much and I should have probably gone with 2 feet or less, but I figured to my dismay later on that some wiggle room would be nice. I used some glue and metal braces to make sure that the arm is going to be able to handle 70 pounds of kayak's weight. I figured that my heaviest kayak is 70 pounds and lightest one is 30 pounds, so that's the only weight that it really needs to hold. Now that the stand and arms were ready, I quickly joined them together using more screws and metal braces. This whole thing was starting to look pretty impressive and sturdy to boot. Once I secured one arm to it, I tried my best to wiggle it around and make it move, and was surprised at how well it stood up to pressure. I even got my son to hang from it and swung him a little bit and everything was fine. So now that I was confident one arm was strong enough, I proceeded to install the remaining three arms. By the end, it started snowing very heavily. And this is actually where I didn't notice my mistake, nor did it occur to me. Snow is heavy. So when I hanged my kayak on a stand, the kayaks were there just fine. My stands didn't care at all for all that extra weight from kayaks. But then winter happened and it snowed. And under the weight of all that snow that piled on top of the kayaks, the arms actually broke. I put the lighter kayak on top and it fell on top of my heavier kayak. Thankfully kayaks were fine, but my stands were damaged, and now that it is summer I will be looking at building new kayak stands. So there you go, making a kayak stand is very easy and for $50 you can easily build one. Do not go wasting $300, you can make one in under an hour for just 50 bucks. However, do not leave your kayak outside during winter, because regardless of what stand you build, the weight of snow has a good chance of breaking your stand. And that's it. Here are the pictures of my kayak stand this week. Very sad looking, as, and as you can see, the top is barely hanging. But it is what it is. If you enjoyed what you saw, please consider leaving a like and maybe even subscribing. I release a video every week. If you have any questions or comments, those are very welcome too. Especially if you have ideas on how to improve my kayak stand. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week. Bye bye!